specifically our West Henrietta packaging and distribution facility and our Scottsville manufacturing operations. These are incredible investments by the company and we're super proud to be making these investments in the Rochester area. My name is Alex Wilkes. I'm the new president for the Americas for Cooper Vision. I actually just joined the company last week, so I'm going to be brand new to the company. I'm brand new to the Rochester area, and my family and I are certainly looking forward to everything that the community has to offer. And sincerely, what? that's making such an incredible investment in the local community. I really could be proud of that. So, we will share more about the projects in just a moment. And following the remarks, we're gonna have some time for the ceremonial groundbreaking and the photo opportunities with our speakers, elected officials, community dignitaries, facility construction partners, and the Cooper Vision leadership team that's here today. So please stick around and participate. Uh, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have the opportunity to take photos and the speakers are going to make themselves available to anyone from the press who would like to spend a little bit of time with them. So let's go ahead and get started. It's my pleasure now to introduce a longtime Rochesterian, a new one for me. Did I do okay with that? Got it. All right. Uh, and Cooper Vision, Cooper Vision President Jerry Warner. Jerry. Thank you, Alex. And thank you everyone for coming to celebrate an exciting time for Cooper Vision. On behalf of the Cooper Vision family, we welcome today's speakers. Empire State Development, Finger Lakes Regional Director, Vinny Esposito, who is representing New York State, and Monroe County Executive, Adam Bella. Alex already introduced himself, but I do want to recognize him because um, we're, we couldn't be more excited that Alex has joined the company. Uh, the vision that he's going to bring to the America's business. He's going to make sure that this facility is looking for another expansion. We're also grateful for the other elected leaders, facility and construction partners, and community dignitaries here who have supported us not just through the start of this project, but as a long time regional employee stretching back uh, four decades. Last week I had the opportunity to, or two weeks ago, to go to our Scottsville facility who's celebrating 40 years this year in the Rochester area. Uh, that was a wonderful event. Now we get to, and they're expanding, right? Yeah. And now we get to come to our West Henrietta distribution and packaging and logistics facility and celebrate another fantastic opportunity of growth. Cooper Vision employs more than 1,000 people in the Rochester area, making up more than 80% of our USA footprint. And the West Henrietta and Scottsville expansions we're celebrating today will add another 170 new jobs here, including positions in manufacturing, engineering, and technical packaging. So why here? Well, we have increased global demand for our contact lenses, right? It starts with we're selling a lot of contact lenses. And our product portfolio is growing. We're launching new products. We're expanding the offerings that we can give to patients and, and doctors who fit them. That's prompted us to move forward with these expansions, which include innovative technology upgrades to enhance our ability to partner with eye care professionals and contact lens wearers around the world. Here at our global packaging and distribution center in West Henrietta, we'll expand our space by more than 50%. This includes enhanced storage technology and packaging capabilities, robotics, and automation enhancements, and an advanced warehouse management system. Our Scottsville facility, five miles west of here, it is a jewel in our global manufacturing network. The 5,500 foot expansion will immediately increase our contact lens output other innovative technology upgrades will allow the facility to accommodate even more growth in the future. We're planning for our long term, not just for our long term as a company, but our long term as a partner and community member in the Rochester area. Cooper Vision's commitment to environmental responsibility will also be evident at these sites. Scottsville's recently earned Silver League certification 
while West Henrietta is currently seeking certification as part of the new construction. We're also proud to say that all of our Rochester area facilities, including these two sites, as well as our offices in Victor, are powered by 100% renewable energy. As a company, we have accomplished so much in Rochester and expect a bright future ahead. Because the region has provided Cooper Vision with such a deep talent pool with a rich history in the optical industry, as well as the support of our partners in government and the private sector, who, are, who we are glad to have here today, the future is really bright. We're excited to continue our investment in our facilities, our people, and our community at large. So how long until we're up and running? We expect the West Henrietta project to be completed by next summer, while the Scottsdale work will finish up by the end of 23. So thank you for joining us for this celebration on a beautiful yet hot day. I appreciate everybody joining us. Thank you so much for coming. Yay. We're very grateful for everybody's partnership. Thanks, Jerry. Up next, representing New York State is Empire State Development, Finger Lakes Executive Director, Vinny Esposito. Good morning. Thank you, Alex. Well done with the Rochester. You've almost even got the Rochester accent down. I've been here 46 years. I still don't know what it is, but somebody will tell you when you get it right. Uh, it is my pleasure to be here to represent New York State. Governor Hochul, my partners like Senator Jeremy Cooney, Finger Lakes Regional Council co-chair and former Lieutenant Governor Bob Duffy, as well as my other partners like Mount Hurlbut and Howard Conar, and all of the people who work together as a team to make days and projects like this happen. This is an incredible show of force. I'm mostly impressed that you've already begun the work and that this is not a ceremonial groundbreaking. So I'm going to be very brief. People in my job, in my world, in economic development, we talk a lot about the history of Rochester as the world image center, the leader in optics the future of photonics and everything else that goes along with that. But when we focus on the optics, photonics, and imaging industry, this is what we're talking about. Projects like this and workers like this. This is the future of our region because we're building on the foundation that our region has had for generations. That's why we make investments and that's why we're proud to be a partner, provide a little bit of an incentive to make this more manageable so that you can reach that next expansion. I heard Jerry say it, I'm holding you to it, and we'll be sure to follow up with you. Maybe after you've been here two or three weeks, we'll give you a little time. Uh, but it's really a, really a great day. It's my pleasure to be here. I want to thank you and wish you all very, very good luck. Cooper Vision is a very proud member of this community and one of the biggest bedrocks of our optics and photonics industry. We're really grateful for you being here. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your kind words on that, it's awesome. And I will work real, real hard to keep that a reality, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, next I want to uh, introduce Monroe County Executive Adam Mellon. <laughs> thank you, Alex. Uh, thank you, uh, it's great to be here with all of you here today. I'm really here just to say thank you. Jerry, thank you uh, and the company for your investment here in Monroe County. It's going to create jobs. It's a huge investment uh, in our community, and uh, we couldn't be more grateful for that. I also want to recognize and thank Steve Schultz, who's our town supervisor over here. Congratulations, Steve. I seem to be in Henrietta a lot for groundbreakings, ribbon cuttings, and I love it. That's like the best part of my job is welcoming new people, uh, new investments here uh, into our community. Um, you know, Monroe County was also very proud uh, to help support this project through uh, Comita, um, working with Cooper Vision to make this a reality and create these jobs and opportunities for so many people who are calling our community home. Since I took office, Comita has actually worked uh, with local companies like Cooper Vision to bring in over $2.2 billion in new investments into the county, creating 7,000 new jobs. So it's, it, it shows and it's proof that the shovels in the ground today are proof that the private public partnerships that we have, the support from Governor Fogel uh, and Vinny Esposito, um, it works. And despite COVID and what we went through over the last couple of years, we're growing at an exponential rate right now. Uh, Cooper Vision uh, is the latest example of 
businesses that keep coming to our area, keep having groundbreakings and growing. As my friends Bob Duffy, Matt Probin keep telling me, they'll keep bringing, they'll keep giving us these these groundbreakings and helping to incentivize companies here. But the one thing that we really do have to do is work to fill those jobs that you're creating. So Alex, Jerry, that's going to be our commitment to you, is that we're going to work in that space to help these folks behind us continue to grow because this this construction here this project this belongs to your employees as well it's such a great thing and our our commitment here is to that workforce and to meet the demand of the businesses and the and the, and the momentum that we have here as we as we continue that long tradition of being a global head or hub of technology uh, and innovation so again i want to thank you jerry i want to thank you alex uh, for your commitment to monroe county i want to thank you for your commitment to your employees I want to congratulate you on this groundbreaking here today and let you know that our commitment to you ongoing is to help you fill these jobs so you can continue to grow, continue to be successful. And you know, I think about this also as Monroe County's bicentennial year. It's actually our 200th year. Monroe County was founded uh, as, a, as a place of innovation and entrepreneurship. And you are fitting that mold and helping to set that stage for success for the next 200 years. So, our, so we need to continue to work together to make sure that you are successful uh, uh, as we build that foundation for the next two or years. So thank you, good luck to all of you, and uh, let's get some groundbreaking. <laughs>